Hello. Uh, here in section 8.1, we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be able to write polynomials in standard form, and then after that, we're going to add and subtract polynomials. So uh, let's first figure out what a polynomial is. So a polynomial is a monomial or the sum of monomials. So that means that you can have more than one um, if you're talking about a sum. And uh, those are usually separated by a plus or a minus. So some polynomials even have a special name. So a binomial is going to be your sum of, sorry, is going to be the sum of two monomials. And a trinomial, right, is going to be the sum of three monomials. So mono means one, bi means two, tri means three. Kind of like bicycle and tricycle. So the degree of a polynomial, and polynomial just means poly means many. So that means you could have any amount of terms for a polynomial. Uh, binomial and trinomial is just special names for a polynomial. It is the sum of the exponents of all its degrees. So a non-zero constant term has degree zero, and zero has no degree. Uh, kind of like you guys, because you haven't graduated hi high school yet. <laughs> all right, so the degree of a polynomial is the greatest degree of any term in the polynomial. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to find the degree of each term and then choose the highest value. You do not add them all together. Okay, do not add them all together. So let's look at example one. Um, the directions say we need to determine whether each expression is a polynomial. If it is a polynomial, then find the degree and determine whether it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. So we look at number one. Um, this looks pretty good. Okay, they're separated by a minus sign and there are two of them. So we're gonna say this is a binomial. And when we want to figure out the degree, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the exponents for each term. Well, we have a one here and we don't have anything back here, any x's or any other variable with a number. So we have a one here, we have a zero here. Your degree ends up being just the one because that is your largest number. So if we go over here to letter B, uh, this is, well, we have one, two, three terms. So this is gonna be a trinomial. And we need to go through and count our degrees for each of these. So we have for our first term, we have an X squared. So that means we have a two here. Um, for the second term, you do have an x and a y, but we can add that one and that one together, and we have a 2. And we have a constant term, which has a degree of 0. So do not add your 2 plus 2 plus 0 together. You just look and see which one is the largest value. Well, we have two 2s, which is okay. So our largest value is just a 2. <clears throat> now, when we get to letter C, this is not a polynomial. So it's not a binomial or a uh, trinomial or a monomial. It is not a polynomial. The reason is this variable here in your denominator. You cannot divide by a variable. Okay, so anytime you have division with just a variable, you can divide by a number, but you cannot divide by a variable. If you do, that is not a polynomial. Hence, we can't name it by try or we can't find its degree. Finally, for our D, we don't have any plus or minuses, so this would be a monomial. And its degree is just 2. So we have a degree of 2, once again. So that is how you can identify polynomials and determine their degrees.